What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike. This basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your next team event. Back at Milliken for the second time in a week where the Rams are going to take on the Compton Tar Babes Wednesday night. And when these two teams get together, in a word, it gets chaotic. So chaotic, we had to put it on there twice. The Tar Babes trying to stay above 500 in league. They've got Polly on Friday, and Milliken lost to Polly the last time they were in their home gym. Tar Babes taking an early lead thanks to JJ, Javante Jackson. The other JJ. Size inside is going to be an issue for the Milliken Rams this year, and Tar Babes took advantage to a 6-0 early lead. Well, obviously, Milliken's got to try and counteract that with the press, and they get back-to-back -back buckets from Chris Barnes outside, and then in transition off that press, they're going to be able to get buckets inside as Barnes goes up again. Compton up one after the first quarter. If these two teams were boxers, the Rams were throwing some big punches from the outside, and then the Tar Babes were just kind of inside working the body. It was head body, head body, head body. Well, yeah, definitely major clash of styles, but the difference early was the Ray Gun, Rayshon Scott, the MVP in the paint, and obviously able to score in transition. I mean, your outstretched arms mean absolutely nothing <laughs> to Rayshon Scott. He had 21 and 8 in the first half. That is impressive from Fiverr leading the way for the road team, but you got to play some defense too. Gonna stop ball? Some what? Nah, Wilson gonna oblige and take that coast to coast. And then the crossover from Barnes. Ooh, put me back up against the wall. And then, did he just win the tip? Yes, that's exactly what happened. Uh, and he gives it to Thomas Pua, who puts it in. 44-42 at the half. Entertaining game. Been waiting for them to take the top off. First transition in the third. Wilson to Barnes Alley. Oop. Hello, game changer. Well, because that gets the crowd involved, that gets everybody fired up, and obviously Milliken needs that energy for their system to work. Next trip down, Pua, that is not your average and one, but it works. And you know what's next! It's chaos, man! Yeah, uh, Milliken unleashing the dogs of war as usual. Wilson to Luis Rodriguez. He gets a little bit of ribbing here for not really throwing it down emphatically. You see his uh, teammates giving him some crap. But the kid is going to shake it off in a big way. Sophomore on the ensuing inbound. Rodriguez is going to take it. He's got one question. Are you not entertained? Is this I'm, not why you were here? I'm entertained. I don't know where that second lift came from. I didn't think he had a shot of throwing this down. And you, can, you have to watch the reaction in the background of the crowd and his teammates. And Milliken coach Chris Francis may have thrown his shoulder out on that. <laughs> Hashtag LB top 10 without question. Tension rising in the gym a few plays later. Lewis, no. Bogan. But that's a foul. Everything was a foul in this game. We had 54 whistles, 79 free throws in a 32-minute game. Swint, the big three-pointer, and great Scott. 31 points, 15 rebounds for the Tar Babes if you need him. He is just an issue. My goodness. Compton up 69-65 into the third. We're in the fourth, where really it looked like Compton was going to pull away with this one. A couple of big buckets, including that interception and pick six for Lewis. But on the corner like Common, massive three-pointer from Justin Chambers. Milliken had ten three-pointers on the night, none bigger than that one, because that really stemmed the tide. And someone opened the barn's door. 20 points and four steals. It was a coming-out party for the junior transfer. Well, and he helped Milliken withstand that 12-0 Compton run. That foul is going to foul out the other JJ. Barnes makes the free throw to tie it up, and that was the story of the game. A lot of free throws back and forth. Tar Babes looking for a big shot of their own. They can't hit it. You know where Milliken's going. Right back the other way. Outlet! Pua with the outlet and Barnes. Bang! Too fresh for focus to put Milliken up 81 to 79. Yeah, he flushed that big time. We are under two minutes to go, and the Rams really just won the free throw shooting contest down the stretch. Even Swint on a night like this, you knew it was going to end at the charity stripe. He's got one last shot here to win it, but it's not going to fall. Real, recognize real, Milliken upsets Compton, if you want to call it that, 84-82. <laughs> the Rams don't want to call it that. They've got high expectations for themselves. We've got high expectations of our sponsors, and they come through every time. Naples Rib Company and Papalucci's putting the eat in 2nd Street. And, boy, hard to believe we're only a week and a half into the Moore League schedule. We've got a ton of basketball, and it looks like it's going to be an incredible finish. You're going to find it all right here. You're home for everything Long Beach sports.